This video is going to discuss the transverse tarsal joint and specifically the cuboid and review a mobilization and manipulative uh, technique known as the cuboid whip. For this uh, intervention, we need our patient in a prone position. We need to assess the patient's uh, level of hip rotation as well, specifically internal rotation, as we need that to perform the manipulation. And so uh, we can do that just in a prone position by making sure they have adequate internal rotation. From here, you're going to uh, take hold of the dorsum of the patient's forefoot, placing your thumbs in kind of a thumb over thumb approach or thumb to thumb approach on the plantar medial aspect of the cuboid. We'll uh, identify that in just a second. Additionally, the patient's knee is going to be flexed to approximately 70 to 90 degrees. And so let's go ahead and assume that position. So we bring the individual up. Again, our, our cuboid is going to be found a little bit more on our lateral aspect. It articulates uh, with our fifth metatarsal. Our cuneiforms are found more medial. Uh, and so we are going to use either a thumb to thumb or thumb over thumb approach as we grasp the dorsum of the foot. Oftentimes the indication for this is someone will be complaining that it almost feels like they have a rock in their shoe um, or it feels as if the cuboid has quote unquote fallen. Uh, the cuboid doesn't fall, but it may be in a more plantar oriented direction, which is why this would be indicated because our force is going to be moving from a plantar aspect to a dorsal aspect. So we identify the cuboid, make sure you can identify the uh, fifth uh, met head and then the cuboid is going to be articulating uh, with that. We wanna be on the plantar medial aspect, thumb over thumb approach. From here, we're going to flex the knee to approximately 70, 90 degrees and slightly into an internal rotated position of the hip. From this point, the patient really needs to allow the leg to be relaxed. You're going to very, very quickly whip the foot into an inversion and plantar flexion. So it's gonna look like that while delivering that high velocity, low amplitude thrust through your thumbs. Now, you can also use the treatment table to kind of increase this. So it's been defined as, as kind of two ways. Some individuals will whip it to the side like a such very quickly. You can also use the table to stop the motion and allow you to get a little bit more thrust on that cuboid. I prefer the second, and so that's what we're going to demonstrate here today. Slight internal rotation, inverted and plantar flex. We take up that slack, we're on the cuboid, and that's the cuboid whip. 